بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم كلية المام الكاظم أقسام الدوانية قسم اللغة الإنجليزية مرحلة ثالثة المادة تعلم اللغة Linguistics today we gonna talk about the scope of linguistics and the topics that linguistics covers this is very important what are the topics that are under linguistics okay we have here a diagram in the shape of a wheel it gives a rough impression of the range covered there is a diagram but in this book the uh, and because it's all line from PDF, the diagram is not there. But if you have a, a book, you can see this diagram. In, in the center, in the center of this uh, diagram, we have what phonetics. We start from phonetics. So linguistics has many topics under it. Okay. No, number one is what phonetics. What is important is that we have to know the definition of each one of them. What is phonetics? You know, you are familiar with the definition of phonetics. You know phonetics, the study of human speech sounds, okay? And good knowledge of phonetics is useful for a linguist. Okay. He has to know about phonetics. Yet it is a basic background knowledge rather than part of linguistics itself. So, <clears throat> sorry, phoneticians. With phonetics, we have phoneticians are concerned with the actual physical sounds, with, with the human speech sounds. The raw material out of which language is made. They study the position of tongue, teeth, vocal cords during the production of sounds and record and analyze sound waves. You know about this, you know uh, about uh, phonetics and it is the study of human speech sound, it is study the place and manner of, of articulation. This diagram, okay, we don't see it here. You can see it with you. So these are linguistics are more interested in the way in which language is patterned. They analyze the shape or form of these parts rather than the physical substance out of which the units of language are made. The famous Swiss linguist Ferdinand de Saussure expressed the difference well when he compared language with a game of chess. Okay, so this linguist, linguist de Saussure, okay, uh, compared language with a game of chess. Chess, yani shatranj. Game of chess. The linguist is interested in the various moves which the chess men make and how they are aligned align, sorry, on the board. It doesn't matter whether the chess men are made of wood or ivory. Okay, this is language. Their substance does not alter the rules of the game. Whether they are made of wood, ivory, regardless of color, black, red, okay, care about the, what, about moves. Although phonetics and linguistics are sometimes referred to uh, together as the linguistic sciences, phonetics is not as central to general linguistics as the study of language botany. For this reason, information about phonetics has been placed in, this is just information. Then we have, after phonetics, we have what? Phonology, surrounded, okay? Phonetics is surrounded by phonology. What is the definition of phonology? We know phonology. Is the study of the sound system, okay? Sound patterning. Then phonology is surrounded by syntax. Phonology, I'm uh, syntax, I'm syntax, I'm syntax, I'm in the 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 term syntax used in its broader sense refers to both. What, what does it mean, syntax? The arrangement and the form of words. How the words are formed okay how they are put together to form sentence this is syntax so first phonetics phonology then, then syntax we start with sound then we start with letters then we with syntax which can be both 
morphology and uh, and and grammar. It is that part of language which links together with the sound parts and the meaning. So then we have what semantics. Semantics is what meaning is placed outside syntax. Phonology, syntax, and semantics are the bread and butter of linguistics and are central concern of this book. So we have phonology, syntax, semantics. Here, as I told you, with syntax, with morphology, and we know morphology, morphology, the city of what. This is grammar. What does it mean, grammar? Here, it refers to sound buttons, word buttons, and meaning buttons combined. Okay. Word order and word ending order. Around the central grammatical hub comes pragmatics, semantics, and pragmatics. Semantics with semantics here. Semantics and pragmatics. Uh, next, in fourth stage, you will study semantics and pragmatics. Okay, what is semantics? Said that semantics is the study of meaning, sentence meaning, words meaning. Okay, the meaning of sentences, the meaning of words. But the pragmatics with how speakers use language is the study of language in use. Okay, in which ways? In in which in ways which cannot be predicted from linguistic knowledge alone. Okay, so we start first with phonetics, phonology, morphology, syntax, which is morphology, grammar, uh, semantics, then pragmatics. Semantics studies the meaning, the literal meaning, surface meaning, surface meaning, literal meaning. Uh, the, the the seen meaning, the meaning that you can see, but the pragmatic state is what? Invisible meaning, unseen meaning. Okay, unseen meaning. What speakers mean? Something difficult. What speakers mean? This is pragmatics. Uh, this fast expanding topic has connections both with semantics and with the various branches of linguistics which link language with the external word. Then we have what? After pragmatics, we have psycholinguistics from its name, psychology, the study of language and mind. This is the definition of psycholinguistics. It is the study of language and mind. Sociolinguistics from society, the study, the study of language and society. Applied linguistics, the application of linguistics to language teaching. Computational from computer. Linguistics, the study of uh, what the use the use of computers to stimulate language and its working workings, stylistics, slowbie, the study of language and literature, language and literature, anthropological linguistics, anthropological from anthropology, the study of language in cross cultural settings, and philosophical linguistics from philosophy. The link between language and logical thought. Okay, what is important about this is what the definitions of these terms. The definition of these terms: phonetics, morphology, syntax, semantics, pragmatics, psycholinguistics. Okay, how they how they start from the beginning till the end. If you have the diagram, you can see these psycholinguistics. Okay, uh, at the beginning. I mean, not in center, out. <coughs> These various branches overlap to some extent, so are hard to define clearly. So these are these terms: second linguistics, social linguistics, stylistics, are perhaps the ones which have expanded faster in recent years. Of course. So they are giving chapters to themselves in this book. So next year, next year in fourth stage, you will study. Semantics, pragmatics, psycholinguistics, sociolinguistics, and statistics. Finally, there are two important aspects of linguistics which have been omitted from the diagram. The first is what historical linguistics. From its name, historical, which means what the study of language change, 
study of language training. We all have two terms, two important terms, cyclonic and diachronic linguistics. Cyclonic linguistics and diachronic linguistics. Cyclonic and diachronic. Because it is normally necessary to know how a, how a system works at any one time before one can hope to understand chapters, the analysis of language when we analyze language at a single point in time, at a particular time. For example, in 19th and for example in Victorian time in Shakespearean age if we want to study language if we want to analyze language at a specific time at a single point in time so this is what psychronic linguistics okay while diachronic linguistics no it is through a period of time through a period of time Also, we have linguistic typology, the study of different la language types. The study of different language types. This is not included here. So, we come uh, quickly uh, across these uh, terms because you are familiar with most of these terms and you know about linguistics, about phonetics, phonology, morphology, syntax, and maybe you have seen new terms like semantics, pragmatics, um, psycholinguistics, computational linguistics, philosophical linguistics, diachronic and psychronic. So in this chapter we explained what? We explained linguistics, the difference between linguistic and traditional grammar, and we talked about them in details, and now we finished with, uh, finished with the scope of linguistics. Uh, next chapter, we will talk about what you can see here. Here we have some terms, you can see them, just to remember. Next chapter, we will talk about what is language, okay? What is language and the difference between human language and animal communication. If you have any question, you can comment and ask. Thank you so much.